Thanks for coming back to another Q&A. We are going to answer a few very specific questions that I think a lot of you are going to want the answers to, and I wanted to break these out as individual videos to make it easier for you to find. John Schwaller asks, Joseph, here's a question you asked me to post. Why, thank you. When the AF is set to 225 area, when pushing focus area set function button, the maximum area that can be selected in yellow is one square less around the entire area. Does it ever reset to the entire 225? And what if you select less or move it? This is a really good question. I looked at it and went, huh. I don't know. And I went to Panasonic and talked to them and I came up with an answer for you. So here's what he is talking about. Let's get this in here. Let's point this at my table so you have a fabulous view. And uh, which source is this on? There it is. Here we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. You know, I don't have the on screen display turned on. Let me turn that on real quick. Um, the info display is on. And there we go. Okay. Back to this. So what he's talking about is when you bring up the focus control, you have this, obviously you got your face and tracking and so on, and then it's 225 area. Okay, so 225 area is, and what you expect it to be, a grid of 15 by 15 focus points. And as you switch aspect ratios, it's interesting, those focus points change size. I have no idea what's actually happening, but they do on, on the display. So what his concern is, when you go into this mode, you see if I push the down button, it says AF area, I hit that. And then using the thumb wheel now, I can scroll in and out, but the maximum areas that I can select is a 14 by 14 grid, not all 15 by 15. And so he's saying, well, is that now not, were we not actually using all 225 areas? I thought, well, this is, that's really very interesting. What I can do, I can move it over, right? So I'm going left, right, I can push it up into the corner, but I cannot select all 225 areas. And you go, well, hold on a second. This is supposed to be 225 area focusing, but this is only 14 by 14 when you, you do the math, whatever that is. Okay, so here's what's happening. The, you are now in the custom area, drawing your own custom shape. You can, in fact, you can draw anything. Like I can make this small and I can put this up into the top left corner, right? I can now make that a little bit bigger and I can also do this by, with my finger. I can drag this around. So I can do it with a finger or I can use the joystick or I can use the scroll wheel. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But again, you cannot get all 225 areas in here. So if I, let's say I leave it here, I'm going to push the shutter button halfway. It gets out of this mode. Notice in the bottom left, there's a little touch button that says AF off. And that's not autofocus off, it's touch autofocus off. As soon as I touch that, it has now disabled that. It has now disabled the custom view and I'm now back to the full 225 range. So whenever you go in and you set a custom range, even if it's as big as it can be, 14 by 14 squares, you are not using the full 225 because if you want the full 225, then you just turn off the custom, right? You turn off the touch AF thing. You hit that and now you're at full 225. As soon as you go back into a specific area, then it is isolated to that area. So basically what it's telling you is that you cannot isolate to the entire area, which is the same thing as turning isolation off. That's all that is. That's what's that is. So I get it, it is a little bit odd. So I totally understand where the question is coming from. Like I said, I, I talked to Panasonic about it just to make sure, but that's what's happening. So to get the full 225, just tap that button to get out of that custom mode and you're back into full 225. And just to kind of show a little bit more of what you can do in this mode, if I go down to the AF area, you see that I can you know do that, position it wherever I like, right? Half button press, there's the... Um, so if I, if I let's see if I can get it to trigger. Yeah, so you see little squares popping up. It's not going to select squares out of the side there, out of the range that I gave it until I touch the button to turn it off. And now it could, now you can see it's already grabbing a wider range of areas in there. It's not grabbing my hand because it doesn't think that's, there we go. Now it's grabbing my hand, which is outside of that range. So th there's that. Now, one of the things you can do in here is you can go into the custom area. So this you'll notice here, uh, let's see here. I actually built a custom area that did select all of them, which was quite tedious, but I did that. And it's totally pointless. The idea here behind the custom is I go here uh, to C3. Let's set this as a custom. I'm going to push the AF area button. That's the down button there. So I push that. And now I can go in here and I can either click on each area that I want to be focused with, or I can use my finger and I can paint on the screen. But this is a little tedious because as you paint over one that you've already painted, it turns it off. So it if you want something really specific, it becomes better to just go in and paint that area in. But that becomes your custom autofocus zone, what you're looking at right there. 
touch that. And now we're not seeing that display because I'm in that little uh, touch a off button because I'm in a defined custom view of right, a defined custom AF mode, custom multi mode. If I want to get out of that, go back over here, 225 area, and now I'm back in the full 225 area. So I hope that answers your question, John Schwaller. That is the reason behind it. And thanks for asking.